Oh, hello. You must be here because you're trying to record your final on audio exam creator and you're having a little trouble. Well, let's see if we can't get started and try to get you some help. So this video will have, two se have several sections in it. So if you look down here on the bottom, you'll notice these little breaks. You can jump ahead in those breaks. And if you look in the audio in, down in the description, you'll be able to jump ahead to just the part of the instructional video you're looking for. We're going to do this in two parts. The first part is going to be looking at the simplest way to use Audio Exam Creator. And then in the second part of the video, there will be a way if you want to import text that you've already written that lives in a Google document or some other word processing program. So here we are inside of our, uh, our iPad and we're going to click on where it says Audio Exam Creator and now we're inside the Audio Exam Creator file. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to give it a text name. So I'm just going to call this whatever, best test ever or something like that. And then if you want to, you can add subject. So you'll just type the subject in on the line that says subject and you'll type in the teacher name. So if it's just you, you can type in your own name. If you are going to type in multiple people, uh, you can uh, type in as many teachers. So like if you're recording this for the entire department, you can just type all the teachers names in there. And when you are, and it doesn't matter, you can see here I'm doing two, I'm doing multiple names here. And it's very simple, just typey, typey, typey. And there we go. So then the next thing you're going to do, uh, you can see if you want to change the date, you can, but I'm not going to. So then we've got our questions. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, uh, I want instructions before my question. So I'm going to write direction or instruction in this box where you just saw the number. So I'm going to type that out, give it some instructions so that the student knows it's not a test question. And when I'm done with that, I can just slide down and I can then type the text in this little text box right in the middle. And when I'm ready to record, I'll just hit the record button, record, record, record my voice. And then when it's done, I can re-record it. I can listen to it. And I can then move on and uh, add a question. And so now that I'm adding a question, I want to get the number right. So I'm going to go in and change the number to one. And then I'll type in the text of the, of the question here. If you want to, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, if you want it, you can just have the number questions numbered and that way as long as those numbers correspond to your text, the student will be able to figure it out and it'll be fine. But if you want to type in uh, text in this little box, you can. Then I'll record my question here and everything looks great. Now, oh, I've, I've made a mistake and I, you can hit the erase and simply re-record the question and that by having it these as questions, you're only... Record, 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 record and then somebody comes in, oh no, I'm talking and I lost. So we can also use this, this uh, box in the bottom here to truncate. Let me slide myself out of the way. So you can see I've cut, you can cut the uh, text. So if you go long or you're interrupted and you want to chop the, the question down, you can do that, or you can just erase it and re-record it. And then when you're ready for the next question, just click on next question and do the same thing. So a pretty easy, fast, quick uh, setup and you would just continue to do this for the rest of them. Now, if you want to do something more complicated, I'm going into a Google Doc where I have some text from an old uh, history test. So I've got my text here that I'm going to import this now and let Audio Exam Creator make my test for me. So I'm going to click Text Import and I'm going to tell it what, how I set up my test. So mine are numbered, followed by a period, and then a space. And you can see down in the bottom of the box the sample uh, question text. And you'll also notice uh, here when you look at the top, if you want things to be an a test instruction, you want to add these three uh, hashtags in front of anything that is going to be an instruction. So now I'm going back into Google Docs. And I'm going to edit my text and I'm going to add those three hashtags to where it says instructions. And I'm going to come down and I've got another part in this text where I'm 
uh, for like writing an essay. So here you can see this is going to be a written instruction or an essay. So I'm going to add those three hashtags again so that Screencastify will recognize it as instructions. Then I'm going to highlight all of my text and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into Audio Exam Creator. And here I like to hit the word Edit button, which you can see right up at the top there, and then paste the text in there. And you can see here that because I have those uh, hashtags and everything, it breaks the text up. You can see these little dots. And I hit Import, and boom, I have all the, I have the text of my test automatically in that little center box. So again, rename the test. put in the subject, teacher, and now you can record just like you uh, were before. So click the record button, record, 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 and then you can erase it if you need to. You can move on to the next question, record it. If you need to erase it, you can do the same functions. Hit the erase, hit re hit re-record. You can truncate just like I'm showing you there. And just go on to the rest of your test, and everything is right there. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to uh, go back, re-watch the video. Uh, you can also find other instructional videos on YouTube uh, to get into some of the finer details of Audio Exam Creator. But right now, this should get you uh, ready to record and uh, help your students have the best success they can on their final exam. Thanks so much for stopping by.